everyone, today we're going to be learning how to draw a gorilla. This goes along with my other video where we read all about gorillas and collected facts about them. So now we get to do a little bit of art and draw our very own gorilla. For this video you're going to need paper, pencil, crayons, marker, paint, whatever you want to decorate it with. I did mine with crayons just because that's what I have at home, but if you feel like doing it with another material that is totally fine too. All right, so for the very first step, we're going to need a blank piece of paper and a pencil. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're gonna draw a head. And the head of our gorilla is going to look kind of like a football or a lemon, but just not as pointy on the ends. So just make sure you round it out, kind of like an oval. So there's the head of my gorilla. Now I need to do the body of my gorilla, and the body's just gonna be one big oval. So I'm gonna start about halfway up the head and start going down, and then going back up and meeting on the other side. So that's the head and the body of our gorilla. It doesn't look like a gorilla now, but we're gonna keep adding details. Next, we're going to add the arms and the legs. For the legs, we're gonna draw two shapes at the bottom that kind of look like half of a banana. So I'm gonna start right here, and I'm gonna go out, and then I'm gonna curve it in, and this is where it starts to look like a banana. When I bring it back, just like that, I thought it looked like a banana. Maybe you think it looks like something else, I don't know. And we're gonna do another one on this side, just curving in the opposite direction. So we're gonna start over here, and go out and curving back in just like a banana. And there, he has two legs. Now we need to do the arms. For the arms, we're gonna start at the very same place that we started our oval for the body. And we're just gonna draw a small curve that goes from his head all the way down to his legs. And we'll do it on the other side too. Start here, make a small curve that goes all the way down to his leg. So your gorilla should look kind of like that right now. If it doesn't look exactly like this, that is totally fine. If you made a mistake, you can pause the video and use your eraser to try and fix it. Um, but whatever your gorilla looks like is gonna be perfect because you are trying your best. Um, now we gotta add some details to our gorilla so that he looks a little bit more like a gorilla because right now he doesn't really look like one. So we're gonna add some fingers and toes to our gorilla. For the fingers, we're gonna add four little bumps on the side of his arms. So it's gonna look like one, two, three, four. Just like that. And on the other side too. One, two, three, four. We're gonna do something very similar for the feet. We're gonna do one, two, three, four. And then we're gonna do his big toe is gonna to be kind of separated like that. So over here, it's gonna be one, two, three, four, and then his big toe. So now our gorilla has fingers and toes so that he can walk a little bit better. We are gonna add some muscles to his chest because he is a very, very strong gorilla. These kind of look like the letter L, a very strong gorilla. So he's got muscles on his chest. We've learned about how strong these gorillas are. Um, and now we gotta do his face. So for his face, we're going to start by adding a big brow because they have really large brows on their faces. So it's gonna look kind of like the letter M, but not as pointy as the letter M. So there is his brow. We're going to add a shape where his eyes are gonna go. So it's kind of like a heart, it's just not pointy at the bottom. So watch me do it. I'm gonna start just below his brow and I'm gonna go up and around and all the way across and then up and around. You see how it kind of looks like a heart? That's what yours should look like too. Now we're gonna do where his nose is going to go. And this is just gonna be an oval. It's gonna overlap onto where his eyes are. So just like that. Now we're gonna add a few more details and then we'll be done. So we need to add his eyeballs. He's got two eyes. We need to add his nostrils. His nostrils are just gonna be two dots right there. 
and we're gonna add his mouth. For his mouth, I'm just doing a shape like that. And there you go, we've made a gorilla. If I went too fast when I was drawing that video, you can go back. Um, the great thing about YouTube is you can always rewind the video and see if you missed anything or if I'm going too fast, you can pause it, finish up whatever step we were on and then press play again. So if you needed to do that or if you need to watch the video again to try and get those details, you definitely can. There is no problem with that. So now that we've finished drawing our gorilla, we wanna add some colors. So for my picture, I made my gorilla kind of black and gray. I was looking at pictures in our nonfiction book that we were reading and the gorillas are very, very hairy. They look black. Some of them have little gray spots on them. Um, and I also looked at the background and I was paying attention to the leaves in the background. And so we're gonna try and make leaves like that. So you guys know that I love to outline my pictures. So I'm gonna take my black crayon or my black marker anything that you have that's a little bit darker at your house. And we're going to outline all of the lines of the gorilla. And you guys can take your time with that. All of the lines. And I'm not gonna outline all of my lines because I don't want to make this video too long, but you can keep going with your lines. If you're gonna keep going with it, go ahead and press pause. And then once you've finished outlining it, you can press play again. So after you finish outlining the gorilla, you're gonna add, um, I added hair to him because I know that gorillas are really hairy. And so when I was um, coloring my gorilla, I made sure to do nice long brush strokes with my crayon. Um, just to make sure that he looks like he has a really hairy gorilla. If I scribble scrabble on him, he's not going to look as hairy. So I'm making nice long strokes with my crayon and I did it on his chest too. I also did it on his face. I did it on his legs. I just added nice long hair all over him. Remember in the book we learned that some gorillas have really long hair because it helps keep them warm if they live in cold temperatures. So I think that's what my gorilla is gonna be. He's gonna have nice long hair. So adding lots and lots of hair all over him. You're gonna do his whole body until he looks something like that. So just keep adding those. The last thing I wanna teach you is how I made those leaves that are in the background of my picture. You can decorate yours any way that you want. Um, but I chose to do those leaves because I wanted him to kind of live in the jungle with lots of greenery around him. Um, and I looked right at the book and that's where I kind of found that inspiration. Um, so for these leaves, um, I only did four different areas of leaves, but if you want to spend more time on it, you could decorate the whole background. You could add trees, you could add other animals, you could add water. Um, anything that we learned about in the book would be something great to add to the background of this. Um, so let me teach you how I did the leaves. I started on the edge of the page and I drew a couple of lines. I did four lines going out. I did one this way and I traced over it. And I did one like that. And I made sure to trace over it. One right here and one right here. That is the base of how I drew my leaves in this picture. And then on each of those stems, I added lots and lots of little leaves coming off of it and I just did that by kind of just drawing straight lines off of it close together and then I did on the other side going out and I did that on each leaf So lots and lots of leaves all around him. And I added it all around our gorilla. And once I was done with the picture, it looked just like this. So you keep working on your gorilla, take your time, add lots of details, be creative with it. If you wanna use paint on yours, go for it. If you wanna use um, markers for yours, do it. I have crayons at home and so that is what I used, but I can't wait to see what your pictures look like 
please make sure to email me a picture of the drawing that you made. I can't wait to see them. Bye.